Hi, this is Brittany Getting for HotHardware.com, and today we are going to be streaming Destiny 2. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the gameplay. Um, unfortunately, we will not have two and a half geeks today, but as sort of a way to make up for it, we'll be doing Destiny 2 instead. So with that said, please let us know how the audio is. In fact, I will even put a little, um, I'll type in here, just in case you can't hear me. Tippity tap. All right, that's it. Uh, let us know how the audio is. So, why are we playing Destiny 2 today? Well, first of all, um, I'm kind of obsessed with this game right now. So that's the game I wanted to play. Uh, second, I don't feel like there's been a ton of PC games lately. There have been PS4. However, we do not own a PS4. Um, one of the games we were thinking about playing is only available in the Epic Store. So we wanted to play something that we had easy access to. And as I am, am obsessed with this game, I have easy access to it. Um, last but not least, we are in the middle of season 11 of Destiny 2, so there's some seasonal content that is going on. Um, so we thought it would be interesting today to kind of just go over that, show you the different um, missions and things that are going on for the current season, especially because the upcoming season and expansion for Destiny 2 have been delayed. So this is the content that's going to be around until early November. So if you're into Destiny, hopefully this will be a fun stream. If you've never seen the game before, maybe this will help to pique your interest. And maybe if you're an older player, you haven't been on Destiny in a while, this will kind of give you an idea of what's going on right now. So let's go ahead and jump into it once again let us know how the audio is if the music's too loud if i'm too loud i'm also joined by christopher getting over in the corner playing on his computer um so you'll hear his voice as well throughout um so here we I was are beginning to wonder if i was going to get an introduction you have an introduction now all right so here is my go-to character i play as a warlock don't judge me best character. I don't care what you say. Um, it's 2020. So my name on destiny is Carol Baskin. What else would it possibly be? And right now, okay, let me switch over to the, the game. Um, we are at the recaster. So to kind of give you an idea, if you're unfamiliar with destiny, or maybe you haven't played in a while, what's going on right now in the storyline, uh, Christopher's Joe exotic, because we have to have matching names. Um, so if you are unfamiliar with going, what's going on in the storyline right now, the darkness is a, um, approaching our solar system. There are these things called pyramids that are associated with the darkness and, um, Eris Morn, that character who's basically is always associated with the darkness one way or the other, is trying to find a way to communicate with it. So we're partly in this game right now in the seasonal events, trying to help her maintain communication so that we can ultimately learn more about the darkness and defeat it if need be. So in the game right now, this is the Prismatic Recaster. It's where you get weekly bounties. Um, you're able to take various items and decode them and get on with the Umbral decoder, decoder that you can see over there in order to get various weapons and gear. So this is sort of the, the part of the seasonal item. Um, if we go here, if you're familiar with Destiny, the Seed of Silver Wings is the cur uh, current seasonal artifact. Excuse me. Uh, seasonal artifacts provide things like mods um, to help you improve your weapon builds. So part of the weekly event in Destiny 2 right now is going to what is referred to as the contact event. So if Christopher is ready, I will go ahead and launch us to either Titan or Io. Do you have a preference, Christopher? Um, is it at both this week? Oh, well, actually, I should probably... I think it's just Titan. Is it just right Titan now. right now? Let's take a peek. Yeah. No, it's Io. Oh, is it? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, land in the rupture on Io. Say hi to our friend Asher Mir first, and then head over to the contact event. And Sanchez MTZ44 says the audio is good. Excellent. I'm so glad I haven't been talking to myself. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. So let's go ahead and go to Io. And hopefully we will not get the beaver error code. And we are launching. 
So for any who people who are just joining us, we are going to be checking out the Destiny 2 uh, seasonal content. Christopher and I, I should also add, have a lot of the seasonal weapons equipped. So we're going to show off, especially Wither Horde, which is a favorite of us both, uh, favorite of us both, excuse me, uh, things like Ruinous Effigy and the other kinds of weapons you could possibly get from the recaster. Not all of them, but some of the more interesting ones. Yep, so you're using Wither Horde and I'm using uh, the Ruinous yes. Effigy. So right now I have Ru uh, Wither Horde equipped as my uh, kinetic weapon. Oh, how rude. Um, I have Gnawing Hunger, which is a auto rifle equipped um, for my energy. And then I have Falling Guillotine equipped for my power weapon. Um, we'll probably switch over at some point to Hollow Words, which is one of the new fusion rifles. On here, I also have... Um, the Night Watch, a new scout rifle, False Promises, another auto rifle, and then um, Cold Denial, Pulse Rifle, as well as one of my favorite new weapons, Whispering Slab, which is a new combat bow. Hi, uh, is that Lone Berlin? I own Berlin. Hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> so let's go say hi to Asher. Oop. Oop. And uh, there's a glimpse of Witter the Horde, unintentionally. <laughs> A little fire. Yeah. What does our friend have for us? He's really demanding today. Is he? Yeah, he's got the lab equipment oh. that needs both kinetic energy and power weapon kills. But may Thankfully, so the bad. recaster has that one too. So hopefully they can just do that. Um, I'm just going to grab everything from him. And then I am going to head off to the contact event, which I believe in the oasis it's the oasis actually i'm just gonna fast travel because i'm lazy <laughs> i'll ride there all right you have fun so yeah we'll go for about maybe an hour or so we'll see kind of where everything naturally goes um but yeah. about an hour ish if we're close to completing the missions we'll just go through with it yeah but we do need to eat dinner at some point so hour ish All right, so the contact event is over there. We are also joined by CCMC Shaggy and Zavala's Thick Thighs. Um, popular. Who doesn't love Zavala's Thick Thighs? Apparently. Some really popular names I feel like you see in this game is basically like NPC body parts. It's real classy. No, I want, I want this. Give it to me. Uh, no. All right, whatever. <laughs> Something's not right here. The darkness changes its environment. All right, dropping in. Cabal. Cool. Cabal are not that bad. So one thing that's kind of nice about this season's contact event, um, as opposed to last season's event, is this is very much similar, if you're familiar with Destiny, uh, to what is referred to as Gambit. So there really wasn't much of a learning curve when it first uh, when it first started. And as I'm a warlock, I'm a horrible jumper. So we'll just have to deal with that. So it's a very, very, I mean, I would say just eat during the stream. <laughs> we got to go get our food. So that's part of it. Oh, let's. That's filing guillotine. Oh, uh, champions up. Champions up. Ah, where? Oh, okay, I see him. Let's go with the hoarded up. If I can jump properly. With these champions, basically, we can go kill them. They drop a thing called a bloom. Right. And if we collect enough of them, it turns us into the hard mode, uh, heroic version of the event that gives you slightly faster rewards. So the cool thing about this um, grenade launcher wither horde, for those who are unfamiliar, is it essentially works. You can either launch it basically on the ground and it'll still damage an enemy or um you can launch it at the enemy itself so it's effective in both ways which is really nice and it makes it a lot of fun i can see somebody was using ruinous effigy the new exotic trace rifle 
another champion. You could do stuff like that, which is fun. Oh, where's the next one? I always see him. We could eat during the stream, uh, Sanchez. The issue is we we don't really have dinner ready made here. So. <laughs> That's true. We gotta get... Wednesdays are kind of our uh, takeout day. It's kind of a nice a local restaurant. Yeah, especially right now during the current health crisis, um, and it's just a nice midweek break. You know, nice midweek treat. Oh, one nice thing, too, is if you have a certain perk, um, if you bank 15 of these moats, you get uh, heavy ammo for your entire team. So that's really nice as well, which uh, you'll you'll see by the end of this event, uh, heavy ammo is important. <laughs> All right. Champions up. I'm coming. What's the top 10 PvP shotguns in your... Top 10! <laughs> Have you guys done the new dungeon yet? Um, no, we actually might be doing it uh, later with a friend of ours. Um, part of it is we're pretty new to Destiny. Um, just started in the last six or seven months or so. Um, so we were not the correct power level when the season began um so a friend of ours might do it with us later which would be really uh, fun yeah i'm looking forward to it it looks really cool i don't have a top 10 pvp shotguns but oh shoot the thing is up with the guys um but i do i will say i like uh phil winter's lie the weapon from last season i think is a lot of fun yeah. and works well in pvp for the most part Paradox from I think a couple seasons ago now is pretty fun too. It's got a rapid rate of fire. And then we also have which brand of uh, processor is better, Intel or AMD? So, I, I mean, I think a lot of that's personal preference. I think AMD's definitely doing a lot more right right now. Yeah. Um, Intel always tends to be a little bit more anti consumer, but their chips can. Not always. It can be a lot more reliable and critical applications for stuff, but uh, AMD definitely made a lot of really good strides in that direction in recent years. So, you know, I think if you're gaming, looking for your home system, uh, AMD, I think, makes a lot of sense right now, especially from a value standpoint. If you're going in the data center, it's really going to depend on, on your workloads, your budget, and needs. Um, there's, there is the AMD Epic uh, processors, obviously, which uh, are a very compelling option, especially if you need a ton of thread. Yeah. Um, but a lot of places are, you know, going to die by LZ on chips. So, it's hard to make any kind of blanket recommendation either. I think a lot of it depends on what you need and what's your budget. Um, and then what's your favorite hand cannon? Um... So, I really like Sunshot. I was going to say Sunshot, too. <laughs> I like Sunshot as well. So, Sunshot lets you explode uh, enemies, and then as they explode, they explode other enemies. It's a nice chain reaction. So yeah, I like... I, I do also still like Ariana's Vow, which is a slow-firing, heavy-hitting hand cannon. You only get six shots with it, but it hits with a ton of range and a ton of power. So, plus that uh, anti-barrier so that can help in certain nightfall type situations where you're facing a lot of anti, uh, a lot of barrier champions. Yeah, I'm I am sad though because like a lot of the weapons that I do enjoy using on a fa fairly regular basis are getting sunsetted, which is a bummer. But hopefully they'll release. I mean the season, the weapons they've released this season, as you can see, like with Wither Horde right here, are really fun. They're cool. And so hopefully yeah, yeah. they'll continue to release neat weapons that'll make up for the fact that we're all sad about our favorites getting sunsetted. Yeah, so the sunset basically means that their power level just isn't going to be able to be increased. Yeah, they're basically... Power cap. Yeah, there's going to be a power cap, so you just... They'll you, still exist, they just won't necessarily be as useful outside of places like um, 
non power enabled PvP mode. Yeah. So. Not the end of the world by any means. But I think if it makes for healthier diversity in the current content, it gives some more interesting new guns. Yeah, it should hopefully be good. So. All right, we're a heroic event. I feel like we have a pretty good team with us right now. Come here. Come here, Cabal friend. There we go. I'll go ahead and revive Zavala's thick thighs over here. Um, the reason falling guillotine is so much fun, well, I'll show you in a second, because that guy just died, is because you can do stuff like this. And that's super fun. <laughs> I think I think for the most part, everyone agrees that falling guillotine is pretty cool. Yeah. So for this particular boss, yeah, we've got to go up to the pylons and destroy them, which takes down the shield yeah. that the boss has. Then we can do damage to him. Yeah, and each contact event does have like a slightly different ending depending on the week. Um, so last week, I. If I remember correctly, it was uh, taken two guys, well, literally taken, taken, uh, taking two guys who have shields around them and you have to like basically bounce them, make them touch each other to like uh, disable their shields. Sweet, and I got a triumph. Awesome. So let's uh, check on our progress really quickly. So, yeah, I think one more contact event. One more contact event. So it's a few steps to the seasonal activity each week. First is to come and do these yeah. contact events, and then it'll assign uh, a different method uh, each week to collect so What's umbral, umbral traces. traces? Yeah. So it'll have us do different activities, um, and then uh, finally there's the interference mission, which is kind of a little run-through mini dungeon. Um, you can solo or play it with a friend, and that kind of advances the story a little bit more. Yeah, and you also, when you finish it, you do get a piece of lore, which is really, uh, which is cool. And I'm totally someone who's a completionist, so I like to get that stuff gotta catch them all gotta catch them all yep what's your favorite hand cannon sanchez and i guess too it matters if you're talking uh legendary or exotic i just heard it oh it's over here it's over here no that's one of the sabbath is it sometimes the event moves around like you know it's going to be in a certain uh region and it just moves to different spots but it's just kind of literally back where it was so that's convenient except for us who ran to the <laughs> except for us threat yeah let me yes okay i didn't get uh ammo last time so this is the plan all right bang down if we tap this bomb of power others will come to challenge collect whatever darkness they hold Hey, hero. Speaking of hand cannons, I know Thorn is kind of plaguing PvP right now because you can yeah. two tap a lot of a lot of guardians with it. All right, it looks like Vex. Right, next group coming in. He says he's been using spare rations a lot lately. I don't think I've actually used spare rations. I've got it. You got it? Yeah. Cool. Oh. They're killing things so quickly, I can hardly <laughs> kill all of it. Yeah, up top. Okay. Just got Ace of Spades yesterday. Nice. Yeah, I like Ace of Spades, too. Yeah, we've still got to play through Forsaken, so we haven't gotten our Ace of Spades yet. I have, or I, ta I take that back. I have the Ace of Spades, um... I'm thinking of a different hand canyon. I have, for some reason, I got the ornament for it. Oh, yeah. It, it does give you the ornament, but... Yeah, I take that back. Yeah, we still have a lot of... We still, we still have a lot. Like, I finally, the other day, just got bad juju. Taking scouts. Wipe them away before they 
Like I said, we're, we're newbies. If it kept a lot accessible, I mean, obviously a lot of it is uh, being vaulted with right. the next expansion in November. So, um, Io, the planet, or I guess the moon, that moon. We're on now, yeah. uh, is going to be vaulted along with a couple of the other planets um, so that they can add new maps to the game and keep it a little fresher. Uh, and so, a lot of these locations have particular. Uh, weapons and quests tied to them. Uh, like, we still gotta get our wizards. Right. We haven't done with, yeah. Uh, we, have a, we have a lot on our to-do list. Um, in some ways, it's kind of nice, then, that the next season has been um, this, uh, delayed, but it's also yeah. it's also nice, a nice bummer. New player. Yeah. It's nice for her. It's nice for us who haven't been playing long because it gives us more of an opportunity to finish like the triumphs and get the and get the region specific weapons. Although I am very pumped to check out Europa um, and the new and the new raid. I think that'll be really cool. We've just started. Subclasses. Yeah, we've just started and the darkness subclasses. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. Um, we've just started to get into raiding with some friends um, and it's been fun. So we'll see with the new one. I also have some, like, I don't know if you guys want to hear them, but, like, storyline uh, conspiracies about what I think is going to happen. But, uh, I ain't no Paul Tassie, but I still have my suspicions of what I think is going to happen. Our lord and savior, Paul Tassie. Yeah. <laughs> Forbes. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's fine. And I killed myself. Great. <laughs> Please elaborate. All right. You asked for it. Um, one, and I think a lot of people agree with this. I think um, we're going to have essentially a guardian civil war um and i think this has been outlined by like a lot of other people who are into destiny lore and things like that um and a lot of it is one because of that introduction of the, the darkness class like i think it's like why would we get that or subclass excuse me why would we get that if there wasn't some sort of greater purpose so i think that uh itself kind of indicates that there might be a civil war eris like let's be real has kind of always been on the boundary of joining the darkness uh god bless her so i think there are there's certain npcs that are already prone to it and ready for it um and then so on top of the civil war where i think we will ultimately like that decision aaron turns heel i i totally think so as well as the drifter because the drifter is a shady dude um so I think there will be that civil war. Sorry, I'm trying to like focus on this and also explain it. And uh, walking and chewing gum is hard. Come on, Minotaur. But um, my other theory, because as you, if you keep up with our site, we did write an article book this weekend about the tree of silver wings in the cradle, which hopefully will get you a chance. Oh, I'm echoing hardcore. Is that better? I don't know. Hi, Chris. Um, so my other, my other theory is, if you look at the tree right now, it's changing quite a bit. Um, so I sounds think- Sounds like you might be picked up in my mic. Let me uh, mute mine for a bit until I need to say something. Yeah, we're, we'll mute Christopher because we are both in the same room right now. Um, anyway, my last, my last theory, so besides the Civil War and the Darkness classes, and especially that one, earlier quest where you kind of had to choose between the drifter and the vanguard um which christopher and i chose opposite size so we'll we'll see how that goes um i do think that kind of everything going on with this communication with the darkness is actually a, a trick i think it is something that uh savathun has planned out especially because eris is kind of obsessed with it and eris uh tends to get obsessed with things and there's been a lot of mention of um the guardians being ignorant of uh, not just of the darkness but in general so i actually think the whole tree thing is a trick so those are all my little conspiracy nothing crazy chris says much better awesome 
Uh, so nothing crazy. Like I said, I know the Civil War thing has been talked about by a lot of other people. But I do think that this is all a fun little trick by Savathun. Because we otherwise haven't heard too much from her this season. So anyway, that article is up on the <laughs> up on the site if you want to read more about what's going on with that the tree of silver wings. But I think a lot of that was also confirmed last season with the fact that or if, if Rasputin is to be believed, uh, that the traveler may not be this necessarily a great uh, power, like this all this all good being. Which if the traveler is not all good. Perhaps that means we are also not all good. And I know there's a lot in the lore um, about all the various uh, lords and things like that. I know there's a lot more to it. Uh, Chris wants to know if we're doing a live review on the Atari VCS. Chris, do you know anything about that? So um, I don't know if we'll do a live review, but I'm sure that's right up Marco's alley to give a review on because he loves all, all the retro gaming stuff. Um, so we'll have to see if, if we can get a review unit in. I haven't heard anything on our end, so I'm not sure, but I think it'll be fascinating to look at regardless. Yeah, especially given the price point for it, it's not, it's, it's, I've, I've heard a lot of people, um, kind of complain about the price of it, given it's, uh, I would say limit, I don't say limitations, but given its uh, intended use. So it'll be yeah. interesting to ha see how it holds up. All right, so what do we need for umbral traces? I think we finished the uh, current. We did. Uh, so we need yeah. to do Night Fill the Ordeal, uh, Nightmare Hunts, or Crucible Control. So probably Nightmare Hunts. Yeah, I think Nightmare Hunts are quick and easy. Yeah. So I think we'll do Nightmare Hunts. Uh, Crucible Control is fun, and that is definitely my favorite mode of Crucible, but especially with the recent change. Uh, Chris says it's grossly overpriced. Yeah, I, I agree. What's my primary weapon right now? Um, I am using Wither Horde as my kinetic, uh, Gnawing Hunger, and then fall Falling Guillotine, excuse me. Um, and I might maybe switch it up to a different kind just to show off. Um, I know Christopher was just using Ruinous Effigy, um, we're trying to show off kind of what the, some of the seasonal weapons are because it's they're fun. Actually, a lot of them are quite fun. Uh, gnawing Hunger is pretty good, but I'm trying to get a better roll on it. Um, and just got some guys that are going to go into the trash bin. Uh, I'm trying to see if I should switch over to anything. I think I'm going to switch off the Ruinous Effigy. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking... I also just have Monte Carlo here, just just in case. I do enjoy using Monte Carlo, especially in PvP. Um, I think I'm going to... Also, one of my favorite weapons right now that is getting sunsetted is uh, the Misfit Misfit Auto Rifle. I really like it. It's especially what I have right now, which is uh, Snapshot Sights. I love snappy weapons. The faster I can draw a weapon, the better. Uh, he says, I'm hoping the game continues to do well since they dropped the shackles and Bungie owes the IP outright. I agree. I'm really hoping they do well. I'm very optimistic that the next season and the next expansion will be good. Um, and I'm hoping, oh, and then one of our friends just came on right now. Um, I'm hoping that it it will be good. I, I really am. I'm rooting for them. Because um, last season was kind of meh. This season, I think, is better. Want to launch us out of here? Oh, yeah. Let's go to... I'm being too chatty. <laughs> next, next season's basically going to be Desti what was originally planned for Destiny 3 content. Right. Um, so it's going to be, a, I would expect, a pretty significant overhaul to what we're used to in Destiny 2. Um, yeah. Not just the new classes and, and new locations, but... I also... A level of refinement and polish and, and things like the menu systems that have been long yes. overdue. Applying shaders and managing random items that don't really need to be managed except that's how they have the system so yeah let's hope yeah i don't think they're doing it next season but in the coming year they have talked about changing it so that you to get quests you don't have to go to all the various npcs which can be kind of frankly kind of annoying um let's switch over to temptations hook and let's do the night watch um and so i'm hopeful that they're going to make some good changes to the um 
the UI. And um, also that's why I kind of have like my ideas about where the storyline is going to go, because I think that would be to, to start to divide guardians, I think would be a really interesting story development. And I think it's not something they've quite done before, but I feel like does happen in other storylines and other worlds and other games. I'm using my hands, but you can't really see it because they're big. Just saw your in-game names. Yeah, Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic because it's 2020. Um, though maybe we should update them at some point. Uh, so I think that would just maybe. be... A lot of people use gnaw, Gnawing Hunger and PvP. Yeah, that's why I want a better roll on it because um, I'm hoping to use it in PvP. Because I just... I honestly don't have a... PvP uh, setup that I'm loving right now. So if you have any, honestly, any suggestions, I'd be open to them because I don't have anything I love right now. Let's get rid of that ogre. Yeah, the gnawing hunger I'm using is tap the trigger with rampage, which isn't too bad of a roll, but I can certainly do better. Yeah. I'd honestly like to just get like really good rolls on all of the seasonal ones since they're not going to be sunsetted next season. You know, obviously they're going to last for a little bit longer. Um, where are we going? I need to pay attention to <laughs> what we're doing. So anyway, Going under and back. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for a good PvP setup, because I really I've been trying to play around with that a lot because I don't feel like I'm really happy with it right now and I'm not therefore having a ton of fun with it. Um, so if you have any good ideas, let me know. Or if you have a setup that you really enjoy. I do like this sword, though. Temptation Suck. It's quite fun. And you can do stuff like that. And that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Which is what I'm also hopefully, I, I'm optimistic that the weapons, the reason that they're sunsetting so many is that hopefully the upcoming weapons will be fun. Because that's probably the most important element, right? I mean, usable, obviously, but also fun. Because if they're not fun, why use them? Oh, and I totally overshot that grenade. Anyway, I really love this game. I could talk about it all day. So if anyone has any other topics they'd like to talk about, feel free to bring them up because I will talk about this the entire time and I won't shut up. <laughs> also too, if anyone has any um, upcoming you know, we like to do these gaming streams every once in a while. So if you have any upcoming games that you would like to see streamed, we'd be open to doing them. Uh, we don't have consoles, so they would have to be PC games. Um, I'm sure we could find a way to acquire a console, but preferably PC I mean, games. If someone wants to send us a console, we wouldn't say no. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. Um, but no, uh, I know that, for example, of course, Cyberpunk, you know, 2077 is a big one. Um, also, one thing I'm very excited about and perhaps that can be a stream option eventually is um, Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out on PC. Chris says he can send us a PS4. It's really okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, but Horizon Zero, Zero Four, excuse me, Zero Dawn is coming out on PC next month. Um, and I am very excited about it because it's the type of game that is right up my alley. What's that? Does that explode? No, that does not explode. That's a shame. And finally, I'm actually impressed that it took me that long to die considering how little I'm paying attention, to be perfectly honest. Does anyone else think, am I think, are you thinking of buying the new consoles? <sighs> um, I feel like it's kind of a wait and see situation. I definitely, or at least we definitely, will not be the first people to buy them. Um, I don't, I don't know. I would, 
I mean, one console I would love to get eventually is I'd love to get a Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, I haven't owned a console since the PS3. So. Yeah, I think if we were to get one, we prob. I mean, I just I grew up with PlayStations, um, so I feel like we would be leaning probably more towards. I have no ammo. Um, the PS5. Simply, if you can find a Nintendo Switch, that is truly, uh, truly the battle. But yeah, there's just so many, so many good Switch games um, that I like to play. Let's go ahead and uh, you're immune. Looking sharp in battle, thanks. <laughs> Let's revive Christopher. Yep, sounds like Dave's here. Yep, Dave has made it to the chat. Dave, you're in luck. You missed all of my destiny, lore, conspiracy theories. <laughs> Are you guys co-op? Yeah, we're playing together. Christopher is on the other side of the office, also playing... He's the character Joe Exotic, while well, I am Hero Baskin. And uh, our friend over here. Oh. Well, I guess Very I'm nice. Curious. You know what? You can come revive me. <laughs> um, Joe Exotic saves Carol Baskins. Uh huh. Come, come heal yourself. I love um, playing, can't hang long, that's okay. Um, I love playing Argyle, actually once we're done with this nightmare hunt, I'll show the current build I have because it makes my um, super last for days. Which is really great in PVE. At least with this super. All right. Still haven't gotten any purple ammo. And, oh. There we go. Cool. All right. All right, so let's check out, sorry, my keyboard is kind of positioned strangely. Let's check out where we are for Umbral Traces. Um, it's 56%, so I think we could probably do another one. one yeah and then i will show the build as uh dave drops in the link to our latest review um so i do storm collar i do bottom tree i really like um the very the my rift i like that um with the rift i get the the arc soul um when i cast my super storm trance i create a bolt of lightning that lands on the ground and creates a shock wave so if you have a lot of ads that's really useful so this is a really good pve build i'm still working on my pvp build um and the exotic i use with it is crown of tempest because your arc ability kills increases the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extends the duration of storm trance so if you have a lot of ads it takes them down like that like there's been several times in this game where we've done lost sectors and christopher's like are you done yet like can i kill anything i got some bounties i need to complete too <laughs> uh so that's the build that i have so we just did a nightmare hunt anguish let's go ahead and do nightmare hunt server two don't they have the most pleasant names very uplifting yeah just really positive um i'm not gonna oh you're gone christopher are you coming back? You're coming back. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not going to bother to equip the Dream Bane armor that they suggest just because we're doing it at such a low, uh, low power level. I don't feel like the Dream Bane armor really does a whole lot when you're at that low of a power level. Can help, I think, when you're you're trying to go for like mastery. But dang, Bert knows her Destiny 2 strategy. I at least know my PVE strategy. As I was talking about before, I'm working on my PVP because I suck at PVP. And uh, I don't have quite the build that I want yet, but I really like the build I have right now. Not joking when I say I'm obsessed with this game right now. <laughs> 
So yeah, I've been using, oh, no back in. There we go. Um, I've been using so far the scout rifle, uh, still using gnawing hunger and being, been using temptation, temptations hook, although following guillotine is also super fun. So maybe during the next, um, round, I'll switch up the weapons again. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun game and it's been really nice, especially with everything going on the last couple of months for Christopher and I to be able to play it, uh, play it together. That's been really fun and have being able to play it with friends. And also too, I like that there are a lot of options when it comes to gameplay. Um, I think that's, that's, that's good. Oh, and there's still some ads over here. I am impressed that neither of us have been error coded yet. Yeah, I'm impressed by that too, because uh, this game is notorious for all the error co error codes. Excuse me. All right, this is a section where um, one of us always dies. <laughs> Usually, Christopher, because he's a more aggressive player than I am. Run in, hack slash, whatever. Yeah. Are you, um, I haven't even noticed. Oh, you are your hunter right now. Yeah, and I also. Didn't catch that. What? Uh, I, I was just realizing you're playing your hunter right now instead of your titan. Oh, yeah, hunter. Um, and Dave also, for those watching, he just dropped in the link to our latest giveaway. So, um, check it out. We like to give stuff away. Yeah, the entries have closed for as of 4 p.m. Eastern time today, um, but uh, we will be selecting winners in the next couple days. I did check with Dave to see if we had the winners drawn before the stream. We're not able to announce them yet, but it will be soon, so make sure to keep checking by the site. Uh, that's some really sweet stuff. Giving away a... Uh, want to check. I think it was the... Oh, it was a 3600 um, AMD Ryzen and the yeah 3800 XT, which is the new variant of the 3800X. Uh, and sorry, that's the 3600X. Um, so two good chips there, as well as the uh, there's the uh, Sapphire Radeon RX 5700 mm -hmm. XT graphics card. So three prizes up for grabs. Um, it's, it's all run through Gleam.io, so it's nice and easy to enter, and or well, would be if there were still entries open. But the next giveaway will be available, um, so we should mm -hmm. have winners shortly. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we like to do giveaways on the site, so it's always it's always good to check check it out. Um, Sanchez says, stick with what you're comfortable with, try masterworks and weapons and adding mods. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, basically. I kind of have gotten to the point where I feel like, I'll say a lot of Destiny 2 players love talking about, like, the ideal mods for, like, the best weapons and, like, you know, this is the go-to weapon. And I've just found that I tend to do better in PvP when I just play the weapons that I know the best, um, which right now is that... Uh, Misfit um, auto rifle, or um, I also like Monte Carlo. And then, um, if it's kind of a more sniper friendly map, I will do my uh, sniper rifle, which is getting sunsetted, which is really sad. Uh, long, long shadow. Um, and then the shotgun. <laughs> is it? Uh, he says he says I win processor. You gotta check out those giveaways if you want to win stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, Felt Winter's Lie is a shotgun I've been enjoying. And then, honestly, there's just so little. Uh, I'm enjoying hand cannons more, but switch to auto rifles when I encounter gnawing hunger. Yeah. I have, I've tried some hand cannons, too. Like I said, I've been, I liked Sunshot, and I was trying it in PvP. Um, I was having an okay time. Oop, I just totally fell. I was having an okay time with it. Um, and I have been trying to just, like, masterwork the weapons that I like. And kind of go well. Doesn't really matter if no one else likes them. I like them, so. All right, where are we on Umbral Traces? I should probably eventually focus on the other stuff. 
Um, I'm at 98%. I'm, I think I am too. So should we do the last nightmare hunt and get... Yeah, I suppose. Which is Pride. Once again, lovely name. And uh, let me switch over some weapons so we can show you some other ones. Uh, let's try... I'll do hollow words and false promises. And we'll go back to falling guillotine because that's just plain fun. Uh, what hand is what hand cannons do you use Sanchez do you, or do you use um, ace of spades in PvP is that your preference I wish sunshot was more useful in PvP but it just doesn't have the stopping power you need to take down a guard yeah, I'm trying to remember there was another hand cannon I was experimenting with but I can't remember offhand yes yeah, sorry I was echoing I can't remember offhand which one it was because it was a couple of weeks ago um I didn't even look at this. Enhanced radar. Take increased damage from melee. Okay. I can't remember offhand what it was. Um, I need to bring Wither Horde into PvP and actually get my uh, catalyst for it. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. We're working on, on those exotic... Ex the Wither Horde and the um, Ruinous Effigy. Sorry, I can tell I need food soon because I'm starting to <laughs> forget what I'm saying. Uh, Catalyst. I'm trying to go with, we're trying to go for the Sabathun's eyes. He's like, Old Fashioned is another one I use. In Crimson, I think it's called, I think it was Old Fashioned was the one I was using. And I have tried out, um, yeah, I think it was Old Fashioned. That sounds like what it, I was using. <laughs> I think it's just, I'm not good with hand cannons it's my fault not the hand cannons fault but it's very unforgiving if you face it's not like yeah you can miss some shots and still run a chance yeah we were actually talking about this with some friends lately about like for me i just did not grow up playing pvp games it was just not something we did we did a lot of um in my family more pve type games so i'm still very much uh a noob when it comes to a lot of pvp stuff i've only recently in the last years have started digging into it and even then not a whole lot um because if i am playing video games i often do prefer a more relaxed pace um so a lot of it's just i'm not very good <laughs> Christopher, did you know you left your, uh, Destiny is a beautiful game. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, bye. I think it's Lone Berlin or Ion Berlin. Have a nice night. It is a beautiful game. The art is very, very pretty. Right, Come here, Drag. ray tracing, it still has some beautiful lighting effects baked in. Oh, I think we got a speedrunner with us. He is just... Not speedrunner, but... Oh, no, he's waiting. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes people just blow through this stuff. Which, like, I get if you're just trying to finish and get the rewards for the week or whatever, but... Oh, I totally missed. I'm working on Remembrance Quest and it forces you to get 100 kills with hand cans in survival. Oh, that is awful. <laughs> I mean, like, I have a hard time with control, you know, and you're with basically like a team. Okay, thank you, friend, for reviving. Yeah, I'm glad they seem to have cut down on a lot of the grinds requests that they had. Yeah. Wow, we uh, blew through that. No, did I even get all my umbral? umbral uh... Oh, I did. Okay. And I got. Oh, taking us out. Yeah, that. Right. Yeah, let's go to interference. Um, and then we'll probably call it a night and get some food. Not the whisper. <laughs> we. Not going to do that one. Oh, no. Okay, good. 
Destiny is being surprisingly cooperative for this stream. There's been a we've I feel like every time Christopher and I play, we always encounter some sort of error, usually beaver, sometimes anteater, other other ones, and we haven't encountered a single one so far. So that's pretty good. I'm actually going to take a sip of water cuz I'm starting to lose my voice. Sorry for gross sipping noises. <laughs> Let's check. I went, uh, sweet. Um, I'm actually waiting to, I know I have some exotic engrams. I know, I know. Um, I have everything on this, on this character basically. So I'm yeah, sort it's of time for you to make a hunter or a Titan. Yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards Titan just because I feel like there are just so many hunters. <laughs> All right. Titan's fun, and probably plays more similar to the Warlock than the Hunter does. Yeah. I think it's the natural progression for me. Ever since I was a little kid, like, I feel like when I play games, the first character I always choose is the character most associated with magic. So it made sense for me to choose Warlock first. Even though when you think about it, in Destiny, kind of all the characters are associated with magic, really. Or whatever you want to call this. Yeah, but you like playing safe and hanging back and I sniping do. stuff off where I charge in and beat them with my forehead. This is also true. Christopher is a much more offensive player and I'm a much more defensive player no matter what game we're playing. But do you want to explain what we're looking at here? Uh, yeah, so there's the, the Tree of Silver Wings that is slowly evolving I am not doing well with grenades right now thank you why does it let me do that during a finisher right oh There he goes. Oh, you got him first. Yeah, so you look at the tree. It's starting to transform, which is what our latest Destiny article is about on the site. <laughs> we just both have falling guillotine. Yeah, falling guillotine is really just my hair. Oh, Christopher, I can't hear you. Falling guillotine is really just channeling my inner Trendemir from League of Legends because we got to spend away. Alright. Yeah, you can even just see here, I'm hanging back. Christopher's kind of going ahead. Like, this is just how we play. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Look at all these legendary, or prime ingrams, I should say. So beautiful. See, here's the thing. So, Eris is claiming that, uh, sorry, let me, uh, let the Taken dude finish talking. Uh, Eris is claiming that, you know, Savathun is trying to interrupt our communication with the darkness. But like I said, I th I'm pretty sure Savathun, at least I think this might be her setup because she's known for, um, I think, I'm trying to think of exactly what Eris Warren says at, like, the beginning of the season. I, um, actually looked it up when I was writing the last article, which is that Savathun basically feeds off of ignorance and, uh, fear. And, uh, I'm gonna check the site to catch up on the lore of that tree. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I, I will say I did not go 
into all the available lore just because there's quite a bit of debate about the tree um, and what it means. Like there's like a tree in the original kind of lore that's sort of a Garden of Eden type of situation for lack of a better um, analogy. So because there's so much to that and because I know that the lore in this game is often hotly debated. I did not go too much into that aspect of it. Um, but at the very least, we talk a little bit about this current tree and what are some potential theories behind its change, its, its, its transformation. Sumi has a lot of very vague and open to interpretation lore, which yeah. adds a lot of mystery and it lets the, I think it gives them some latitude to unravel things however they want as the story develops. Right. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I hate those swinging things. I should respawn. All right, I'm not too far away. It's all right, I keep bouncing off the rocks and almost died myself. Yeah, this is not my fa Oh shoot, I did it again, I need to focus. This isn't my favorite room. Warlocks are not known for their jumping in this game. Or general movement. No, you don't get a lot of latitude to change directions. No, we really don't. Funny enough, Christopher, like, just thought I was having issues jumping when I initially started playing this game until he started, uh... He, he started his own warlock character, and then he's like, oh my gosh, your jumps are just so dumb. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's not just, it's not just me. And shoot, see? <laughs> we both died. Yeah, I promise we'll finish that, this that interference like mission. The first kind of thing just uh, did me in as I got punched in the face by a minotaur. Yeah, oh, okay, now it actually... Put me over, come on. Um, another thing is too, is I feel like the room, so I, I think, have you tried controller? I am just not a controller fan. Um, I have not tried it with Destiny, or I think I, I take that back, I actually have when we were testing out um, Google Stadia. Christopher, how do you feel about the controller with Destiny? So I think it's pretty well optimized for the controller, and I think the aim assist that they give you with it is fair as I run into a lantern and fall to my death. Right. Um, so, you know, I think it plays pretty well with the controller, but I'm so used to mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I am I too. I can't make the change. That's, that's the thing is I'm such a PC player when it comes to this. I, I cannot make this jump today. I am too distracted. Um... Yeah, I'm such a PC player that for me, controllers, especially for games that I've played on PC, just feel kind of weird. Um, but maybe it would be better for at least this type of stuff. I've heard some people say that they don't like, uh, growing up on console, I can use the K&M on Destiny and I, I tried. Oh, I can't use the KMN. Yeah. Understandable. I think everyone's just comfortable like what they're with, with excuse me, with what they're most familiar with. Um, and for me, that just happens to be okay. That is, just, I am right, just so having a time. Down, so back to the middle, That's so good because I am having <laughs> major issues jumping today. I'm usually not that bad at it. I'm not gonna say I'm good at it, but I'm. I need to plan this uh, better. Better timing. Hard on stream because you just want to rush through stuff so much. And you're not like fully paying attention. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm there. <laughs> Let's kill this invisible guy, shall we? Nope. You're one of those guys, huh? Um, anyway, so I was thinking about the rooms. Uh, like the rooms have changed up quite a bit over the last few weeks but i feel like it's now kind of getting a little bit repetitive 
And my theory on that is it's because they've delayed the season, and so maybe they have some more, um, they have some more rooms, but, uh, they're gonna wait, you know, to peter them out a little bit. Alright. I do love the finisher mechanic. It's just so satisfying. It's fun, yeah. It's a good mechanic. I kind of wish there was more variety with them. I feel like just a lot of them are more like available for purchase. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm coming for you. Thanks. Does anyone else find the wizards to just be super annoying? Ah, shoot. Yeah. Because there's, like, they're difficult to grenade. They're yeah. diffi difficult to hit with a grenade launcher. They zip around in the air. But I think the, uh... uh where are you? Fall, fallen captains are more obnoxious. Yeah, the just... fallen captains are obnoxious. Have you played The Last of Us 2? No, and honestly, I'm not going to. It's not my kind of game. Uh, I just, I don't do those highly emotional games. Although I know so many people have been streaming on that. So if you're interested in it, I'm, I know there's just so much on YouTube. And uh, it's gotten, I think, the storyline, if I if I remember correctly, has gotten some mixed reviews might be a fairly uh, generous statement. Wow, that just, like, knocked me out. Thank you. I'm just gonna super. He says, "Yeah, it's not Go that good." It. Have you uh, have you played it, Sanchez? All right, let's go talk to uh -huh. Eris. Through the portal. We're back to the tree, oh. you can see. Um, I'm stuck on the other side of the portal because I accidentally went back through it. Oh, he says, no, I watched a few streams. Um, yeah, and I've, I've seen, I won't say I've seen like a full stream. I've seen a little bit of it. It's just, I know it's not my type of game. Just not. So let's listen to Eris go on. Continue on our current path. Apparently, it believes itself to be quite supportive. Curious. Oh, see, look at that civil war, that darkness consumption. Uh, Bootman says some console ports are poorly optimized for keyboard and mouse. Specifically, mouse moving can be hard to get right. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. I wouldn't say that's the case for Destiny, though. It's it's very well optimized for both. Um, but muscle memory is definitely a thing. Yeah, muscle memory. I'm just like... Tch -tch -tch. Are you okay, Iris? Do you want to talk about it? She's never okay. She's never okay. All right. Well, we have, I think, blown through... Um, what is essentially the seasonal weekly mission, the contact event, collecting the um, umbral traces through various different 
game activities as well as this interference event which means uh, i think i'll take us back to the recaster in the tower and then we will call it good i'm still impressed that we it hasn't uh booted us out no error code yet yeah but now we're going back to the tower That's which true. is the worst the tower is the worst for error codes uh yeah he says i played destiny and pc but can't use keyboard and mouse yeah, it's, it's just about what you're comfortable with, right? And I didn't really, uh, I mean, we had a, like a PS2 and stuff growing up, but most of the games I grew up playing were PC. So it's my comfort level. <laughs> like how I feel more comfortable with PvE than PvP. But I'm determined to get better. I'm determined to get better. So I'll get there eventually. Is it taking us in or can I admire? All right, I've got one of those done. Oh, we never finished the aisle. That's fine. So many bounties. Yeah, I've got like 20 kinetic weapon kills I need, but I'll just clean that up later. I we will. I know. I know we will finish them. We will finish them eventually. <laughs> we play this game a lot. It's definitely also been nice to play with each other. Um, play with each other in this game during you know everything that's going going on. As we find ourselves still very much at home in our uh the state that we live in and still has a lot of restrictions even though it's opening up slowly um so it's been it's been nice to do you know nice thing to do and for the most part pretty relaxing all right so let's go talk to the prismatic recaster Let's say Hydra Drifter. Maybe? Not enough space. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Because I want to I wanna upgrade that. Um, I think I will do one of my free ones. I still need... Uh, I need a better, where, where is it? Not that. All right, let's try this. There's a few different pyramid, you know, uh, weapons that I'm still trying to get better rolls on. So. Yeah. Yeah, I apparently got one of those at some point. Another helmet. All right, let's see if this opens this up then. The only thing that's kind of, yeah, there we go. The only thing that's a little bit irritating about this current system is it takes up the um, same amount of room as the other umbrals, which is not great, but is what it is. All right. So I think we will call that a stream. Like I said, we've gotten, we went through the whole sort of seasonal uh the weekly seasonal mission um so you guys got a a little bit of a a look excuse me like i said need water need food a look at what that looks like um let us know in the future if there's other games that you would like for us to play um aside from destiny 2 although uh as i mentioned before we're obsessed with it right now so we're more than happy to play destiny 2 if that is if that is what the people want um but yeah otherwise check us check us out on our site hawharbor.com um you can check us out on twitter uh facebook instagram all the usual social media, including Discord. We've recently got back into Discord. And uh, check back next Wednesday for either Two and a Half Geeks or perhaps another stream. And we will uh, catch you guys later. All right. Bye.